Hi, today on the bench we have this which is the Dell XPS 13. So this has a Intel, uh, in this case Core i7 uh, 7000 series chip. And we're going to be looking at replacing the battery, upgrading the SSD and a few other repairable parts in here as well. In terms of tools we have a basic plastic pry tool um, along with a Torx T5 screwdriver bit and a Philips PH0 size bit. Uh, these should be the only tools we need and I'll put links in the description to these along with um, the SSD that you can buy along with, and the battery from Amazon uh, through affiliate links. Um, so to get started we have a little magnetic pad here and I'm just going to use this to place screws on as we remove them. The majority of the screws can be seen with the machine just turned over. Uh, the exception to that is there is a Phillips screw here under the hatch. So obviously removing these Torx bits is a fairly simple job. None of them should be particularly tight. Do just make sure you have the, uh, the right bit as if you were to round these off it would be a bit of a pain to get them out as you won't be able to get anything like screw extracting pliers onto them easily. With the screws in the base all removed, we can then open the trap door and undo our single additional screw here. Once that is not retained, we should just be able to pull it out once it's undone. And then with that done, we can twist the system around and take our pry tool. And what we want is to find this edge between the metal and the plastic of the chassis and just push our pry tool into there and then work along the back edge and the panel should lift off very easily like so. Once we're inside, so our first step for working in the laptop is we're going to just get in and just try a bit hard without getting too in the way of the camera, but we should be able to just ease out the battery connector. So if we can get in, fingers is easiest, unfortunately that does also mean. So there's a little ridge there, by getting fingertips onto that we should be able to just pull it out. This um, means the laptop is completely electrically off. There is no draw coming from the battery, obviously, with it disconnected. Um, I do often get asked if this is essential, and really you do want to do this. It just avoids accidentally uh, shorting something with the system somewhat on, as uh, some elements will always draw battery power. So in terms of actually upgradable elements, there isn't a removable RAM in these systems. So we have the SSD, and the wireless along with the battery. So to start with we're going to remove the battery. Uh, this is relatively simple. So we have two screws at the bottom here. Dell do offer quite good service manuals for these machines so you can find uh, instructions if you need to reference those um, on their website. And then, so in terms of other times, so we have the additional battery screw here. And then a smaller retaining screw up here. The speaker wires are attached to this. Um, so what we will also need to do, with that second screw out, or that second screw type out, so we want to go along, and because we don't want to remove the speakers, we're just going to peel up these small pieces of tape, just to disconnect it from the speakers so that we don't have to take those out at the same time. These tape, we just want to lift the corners of them, and then peel back. 
and we shouldn't need to replace any tape here, this should just stick down when we're finished. Obviously when working with the battery do be careful not to pierce it um, and try to find you know, the, best, the best possible replacement so that you can be confident in the reliability of it. Uh, with that done, we can then carefully remove the battery and that is our battery taken out. To then refit it is just the exact reverse of that, so we slot our battery in here, aligning it to the lugs, and then press the cables tape back onto it, and we can refit the screws. In addition to the main battery, uh, there is a small BIOS battery here, and we'll take a look at that in a moment. Possibly with these, we'd actually want to go down to a Philips uh, PH00 size screwdriver bit. However, the, uh, the zero does suffice. To replace the BIOS battery, so we have a small, so smaller than CR2032, uh, so I'll find out this looks to be a ML1220 type battery, and it's wrapped with a connector on it. So again, I'll try and put a uh, link to one of these in the description. And to remove it, we simply take the lugs on the side here and release, and then plug back in and tuck into position there. To replace the SSD, this is a MVME type M2 2280 drive. This system came with 256 gigabyte Samsung SSD, uh, which has been in quite a good drive in its time. But to remove it, we have a single screw here. The drive will pop up slightly and we can slide it out. And then to replace, just slot it in gently Press down and refit the screw. Similarly, we have a PCIe type uh, M2 Wi Fi card. Uh, obviously, this is a different size, differently keyed, uh, so this would be a 2230, and you'd have to excuse me, I can't remember the exact key type, but it's standard for wireless cards. To replace this, we have a little cover over the antenna. By unscrewing that, we can then unclip the antenna and remove our Wi-Fi card. This could in theory be replaced by a Wi-Fi 6 card. Um, you would probably want to stick with something with uh, just 5 gigahertz radio, however. Um, it may act a little unpredictably if the antenna is not designed for 6 gigahertz on a, 6, a 6E type card. To refit our wireless card, we can then slot it back into place and press down. We, before screwing it back down, need to affix the antennas, so we want to align that very carefully. These are quite fiddly, but if we align it and press down with not too much force with the plastic pry tool, we should hear it gently click into place, and the same again for the White, the two are labelled here, so black and white for main and orcs. And with those clicked back into place, we can then take the shield, drop that back down, and screw back into place. Other elements uh, such as the trackboard, keyboard and DC jack do require further disassembly, so particularly taking the main board out. Um, I don't want to do that with this particular machine. So with our upgrades complete, uh, all that is left to do, so we want to take our battery connector and obviously plug this back in. Last thing you want to do is get things put back together and then realise you haven't plugged in the battery. With that done, we can then take our base panel 
and we're just going to align that and lightly press down. The bulk of the work here is actually done by the screw fixings, uh, but you just want to press it into place first. We're then taking the screw for the back here and fitting that into place. And then finally refitting our Torx T5 screws. Um, so I hope you found this guide helpful. As mentioned before, there are links in the description to where you can find appropriate battery, uh, replacement SSD, and also a compatible Wi-Fi 6 card if you're looking at doing that as well. Um, if you have found this useful, do hit thanks as that obviously really helps us. And there is the option of super thanks if you wanted to uh, leave us any sort of small thank you as well. It's always very much appreciated. If you'd like to see more from us in the future, do hit the subscribe button and thank you very much for watching. I hope it's helped.